How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. This is our Monday through Friday UAP News Channel. Thanks for joining us here today. Try to keep you up to date with everything going on in the world of the UAP phenomenon. If you're brand new to the channel, you've never been here before, hit that button, man. Subscribe to the channel. We just hit 26,000 subscribers. We're trying to get to 50. Why? Get more people talking about it. Well, if the mainstream media is not going to cover it, then we should do it. We should be the ones and get other people talking about it. Start your own channel. Start your own thing. Start talking to your friends about it. Talk to your family about it. Support other creators that are doing this. That's how you get the word out and you just stay informed. I'm not telling you what to believe, just telling you to stay informed. Um, okay, so the public hearings, that is one of the things that the mainstream media did actually cover. It was a big deal. You had both Fravor, Graves, and of course, David Grush, and we're almost about a year removed from that hearing. And that's right after the News Nation interview that David Grush had with Ross Coldhart, the idea that not only were these reverse engineering programs legit, there were bodies that were recovered. He said as much under oath. And, and then the question, well, there were more and more people that we saw questioning the witnesses in the hearing that became bigger voices, whether it was um, Tim Burchett, whether it was AOC, whether it was Gates, whether it was Moskowitz, whether it was on and on and on and on, the list went. And more and, more, and Luna, more and more people would get involved and start to be bigger voices over the course of the last year. But the question still remained, when are we going to get another hearing? When are we getting another public hearing? And that kept popping up. And the idea of when it was going to happen, we don't know. Last week, we covered on this channel, Matt Laszlo over at Ask a Poll, talked to Tim, Tim, Bur Tim Burchett about it. And Burchett said that he was pretty confident that not only it was probably going to happen sooner than later. And when pressed on an actual date, he didn't say he had an actual date, but they said they're trying to figure that out. Inside of that, it also seemed like we were going to get some of the 40 witnesses that David Grush spoke to um, that he had mentioned, people that he interviewed. The whole reason that he came forward in the first place would be some of the next witnesses. And what Tim Bursch had also said in that is that it had to be something big that came across. If people were really going to pay attention to this thing and take it seriously, you know, this the regular people. Um, and so there was something. There was a lot of news that broke over the weekend, by the way. And one of it is Senator Gillibrand has been pretty active and talking about this as well. And some people think that she's pretty tied into Arrow. And there's a lot that she consistently says that she is dealing with Arrow and the things that Arrow has to say and how Arrow is going to be involved a lot of it. And there's been a lot of head scratches as far as, you know, um, how involved she really is with Arrow. Is she trying to just play by the rules or is she a little bit, something a little bit more, is she heavily tied in to Arrow? Well, one of the things that was said from Matt Laszlo was this. Okay, what you got? Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't scheduled. I told my okay. staff to schedule it. Cool. Um, he said he's available to come in. Nice. He's already finished. So he's uh, agreed. I said I wanted to do it this summer, and he said he'd love to do it. Nice. And um, uh, I told him I want him to do video of the things that he's figured out. Because, like, nice. they figured out a bunch of things mm. that looked really weird, and now yeah. I want to know what they are, because it gives the community yeah. something to fully understand to see how strong the science is and how to present to the public basically the public. So the public can yeah, say, like, if you've seen these 10 weird things we figured out three of them yeah we're going to show you these three we still don't know about seven yeah. but here's three and this is why we know and this nice. is why better con better footage is important yeah it's why better sensors are important it's why we need to like do over the horizon radar in a certain way yeah because without data we can't assess and not knowing isn't acceptable yeah. And so I've asked him, he said yes. Nice. So I can see a date from my staff. Probably, probably, probably July. July. I'm hoping July, and if not, then September, but I'm trying to July. Cool. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So she says, obviously, if you hear inside of that, she she's looking around July when they're going to do the hearing. And then the explanation of that there are some that can be explained, the others we got to figure out, but here's the concrete reason exactly why. So, and getting clear footage and. I don't necessarily know what to make of the statements. You, know, you could you could make you could say okay that she's just playing by the this is this is the she's going by the book. She's saying yeah, we got to get clear cut evidence before we say this is or isn't, and this is what it is. 
The other side of us saying, well, spoke to Arrow and then that report that we talked about a couple of weeks ago where they're like, there are certain things when addressing the press, because this, is, this was that unclassified document that came in from DOD about how to address the press when it came to UFOs or UAPs. And maybe that's, that's part of it also. And then who's going to be talking at these hearings if they do a, another public hearing? Who's going to be doing it? Who's going to be some of the witnesses? Is Gillibrand going to be in charge of that? Is she going to be the one who's, who's bringing forth the witnesses? And if so, are they not going to talk to the 40 witnesses that David Grush allegedly says that you know he spoke to because it doesn't seem like those were even mentioned? But if you talk to Burchette, it seems like it is. But David Grush then responded uh, via Twitter, and this is, this is something that came in from Skyfire News. They said there's a new David Grush statement. This is where I saw it. And David Grush states none of his 40 whistleblowers spoke with Arrow out of distrust. He also says that Senator Gillibrand does not have access to his whistleblower list. The statement reads, I'm not aware of any of the 40 primary interview subjects that form the basis of my ICIG whistleblower complaint having gone to Arrow to be interviewed. The witnesses conveyed to me a lack of trust in Arrow and the command climate. I am only aware of the individuals with mostly secondhand knowledge that were interviewed by Arrow that I also spoke with some years back during my research process. Those individuals did produce some interesting leads I followed, but appears Arrow did not have the expertise to distill the information they were given as it should have provided them access to a large body of foreign intelligence and other U.S. program information I had access to that is not reflected in the Arrow Historical Report, Volume 1. Senator Gillibrand does not have access to my witness list, so I am unaware how the senator allegedly has made any assessment in that regard. So that's a big claim there, too, and it just goes back to the idea of there is a big disconnect with people who are saying that there are certain things in reverse engineering programs, recovered craft, whatever it might be. There are many people who on that side of it that just do not trust Arrow. Now, Sean Kirkpatrick, obviously, put a lot of distrust. There's a lot of distrust from a lot of different people because it was one of these things where I think a little while ago you could have made the claim of, all right, well, you have this stance of it. It doesn't look, maybe it doesn't look like Kirkpatrick's telling the truth, but he very well could be. And he's not, there's no lies that are being told here. And it looks like it's pretty balanced. And then that whole interview came about with Sean Kirkpatrick and um, Stephen Greenstreet, where he said he was never at that meeting with Frugal. And then it was proven that he indeed was talking about Skinwalker Ranch. And still, I don't believe, has ever responded to that. At least I, don't, I didn't see anything. Please write in the comments if he actually has responded to that. I just haven't seen that. And he, and he might have done a follow-up interview with Greenstreet. I haven't seen it. So if there is, please let me know, because then I'll report on that as well. But if he didn't, it seems like there was no response to it whatsoever. And you go, well, clearly there's more there than meets the eye and not telling the truth. So Arrow has not, it, it almost seems like another Project Blue Book at this point. It, it it's you know it just seems like there's this is the government's way of saying no 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 we're doing the work here to show you we're doing everything we can we're looking we're looking we're, I promise you we're trying to we if we knew what it was we would let you guys know and I don't think anybody really believes it and I don't think that David Grush if you believe now what he's saying and that is that the people that he spoke to these forty people. That the whole reason he came forward in the first place, from talking to all of these credible people, none of them, minus these two people that weren't the people that he was talking to, but that he said, though, those two people that went to speak to them, he, good leads. and But the 40 people that he had information from, that seemed to be more firsthand witnesses, they want nothing to do with Arrow, and they don't feel safe. They don't feel, well, trusted, I should say. They don't feel that they could trust Arrow. That's a problem. When that's the, you know, that's the government agency. And he also says she doesn't have access to the list. So maybe it's one of these things where she's like, well, I don't have access to it. Maybe it, it's, it, maybe it is one of these things where I don't know how, it, it, from what I hear, it's so disorganized over there. Maybe she's like, well, yeah, this is a made up list and this is this. And that. maybe she knows more. Maybe she knows less. I don't know. But it starts to make you think 
from that report I had, I think it was a Thursday or Friday, whenever it was, when I was talking about Tim Burchett. And he's talking about how it looks like some of these witnesses will be the ones who show up at this hearing. Now, are these two different hearings? Is this a hearing that Schumer and Burchett and Luna and all of them, is that one that they're going to get made? They're going to have get approved? And then there was a separate one that Arrow and, um, and Gillibrand are doing. And if so, is that going to be Arrow kind of agenda-driven? Is it going to be together? Like, how does that work? I don't know. Because I don't know how much, I mean, for people who are watching this channel and for people who are, you know, a little bit more skeptical about it, y we're going to be like, I, if it's just Arrow run, or DOD run with no with nobody else who's, in the same way that, remember, when they did that Arrow, Arrow report the day before, they didn't invite News Nation. They didn't invite any of the reporters that cover this thing that are going to ask a lot of questions. They had a hand-picked, kind of cherry-picked who they wanted to be there. Is that the same thing that's going to happen at this new public hearing? Are they going to handpick the people that they want to get the message out and say, okay, yeah, we're doing another public hearing, and here's what we found. And instead of a document that they release that some people will see in a couple outlets, they put it on the news, and then more people see it, and then you don't have you know, any of these witnesses whatsoever. You have a couple of witnesses who kind of negate some of this stuff. I, I don't know. Um, how do other people respond to it? I, this is where... This is one of those things. I gotta, I'm going to try to actually get um, Matt Laszlo back on the show sooner than later because if you guys didn't know, I'm moving. So I normally do it on Tuesday mornings, which tomorrow will be the last one on my main channel, which is primarily a, a, like a movie, pop culture, uh, news channel, and review channel, and things of that nature. And I started doing UAP Tuesdays is really how I started getting into this whole topic, and I started doing that on Tuesdays. But I think it makes a lot more sense now to move that show over here on Tuesdays. So next Tuesday will be the first UAP Tuesdays on this channel. I'll still do news bits um, a little later on in the day. But I think that I want to reach out to Laszlo again. He's been on the show before, and I want to try to get him on because there's been so much that's happened since then and kind of gauge what he's thinking on how that would work with Arrow, with, um, you know, the, the other side of it. Because he's talking to everybody. He's talking to everybody. He really is somebody that you guys should follow um, and I put a link to his article and I put a link to the Skyfire News stuff in the description. So if you want to check out both of those things that I covered here today, that's where you find them. But Matt Laszlo is doing great work. He talks to everybody. He talks to everybody. He asks everybody the questions that we want to try to find out. So I, and, he, and he's, he's actually in Washington finding out this stuff. So a lot of the news that you hear um, that comes from a lot of these, uh, these interviews, whether it's Burchett, Gillibrand, they, they usually come from Laszlo. So he's doing fantastic work over there. Anyway, so what do you think about Grush and the fact we haven't heard? Remember, we, we haven't heard from Grush. We haven't really heard from him. He's supposed, he's supposed to speak at the Salt Foundation, the Salt, right? Salt Foundation? How do we say that? I did that last time too. Um, he was supposed to speak at Salt Conference, excuse me. And he didn't. And Carl Nell did instead. And then there was rumors that he was going to be working for the UAP caucus. Well, that hasn't happened. And he hasn't said anything really at all. And now he makes this statement. And it's interesting that he would respond to this thing maybe right before a new hearing happens. I don't know. There's other things that we're going to cover on uh, the show tomorrow where, speaking of Graves and, um, and Fravor, we talk, they, they have a, some, they, there's an interesting clip between the two of them that kind of started to spark some questions about things that are coming up soon. So check that out. Last one is on the main channel. Thanks for joining me here today. I appreciate it. Please put your thoughts in there about how this all works. And as I always tell you, I don't pretend that I'm an expert at this thing. I just talk about it every day. Um, there's a ton of you that have been following it forever. If you know how it works, if you know how, if it's going to, is it going to be like an arrow driven thing? Is that what it seems like Gillibrand wants to do where it's going to be, kind of arrow heavy with their witnesses or is this a collective thing with all of them i don't know but i'd like to know so put your thoughts in there let me know once again subscribe to the channel help us get to fifty thousand pretty quick if you can so we can get the word spread out here thank you for joining us i appreciate it and we will see you tomorrow